Right? Alright, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go show you guys how to graph a uh, graph using a table. So, in a couple previous videos, I've told you guys how to find the x and y intercepts. And by doing the x and y intercepts, what you've done is you plugged in a 0 for one value, and you found the other, and you, found, you plugged in like 0 for x, and you found your y value for the y intercept. And then you plugged in 0 for y and found the x value for the x intercept. Well, now you can, that method still exists. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to choose some values other than 0 to plug in. Now, when your equation's written like this, it doesn't really matter what, what you want to solve for. If you want to solve for x, you want to solve for y, and then find the other values. So to make this a little more simplified, I'm going to tell you to solve for a variable. And usually we like to go ahead and solve for our y variable. Uh, so when doing these problems, it doesn't matter if you solve if you plug in numbers for the x or the y. But to get a little clean cut um, work, let's just have everybody solve for y. All right. Now it's a little bit easier. Now I already know that when whatever I plug in for is x, I've already solved for y, so that's just going to be my value. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick some numbers. Now when picking numbers, it doesn't matter what numbers you pick. Um, you're going to want to pick numbers though, however, that are easy for you. It only takes two points to make a line, but for our problem, since we're just beginning off with this, we're going to pick four numbers. That third number is just to go ahead and verify that we're getting our problem right. And then our fourth number is going to do the same thing. So I'm going to have you guys pick four numbers just so we can go ahead and pick it up. Now, before you go ahead and raise your hand for which numbers you like to pick, I want easy numbers. And I want numbers that are going to work in this equation. We'll deal with fractions in a second, but I prefer if you guys would pick numbers between negative two and, one, zero, one, and two. So would you like to give me a number? Two. OK. Negative one. <laughs> I want to wear the hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So now to go ahead and solve for these problems, and I just picked three just to go outside that one. So now, because it doesn't matter what points you pick, you can pick a negative four or a negative five. But the reason why I'm going to tell you to pick points between negative two and two is because these those points are a lot similar. Because if you pick big numbers, you're going to start getting up to higher and higher numbers off the grid. And you're going to have to plot all of them. So I don't want you to pick very big numbers. But let's just go ahead and solve for these. So if I say when x equals 2, just like when we were solving for our x-intercepts, our y-intercept, we plug 0 in for x. Well, now you're going to plug whatever number you pick in the table in for x. What's your question? I know I'm in the way right now, but I'm showing a move for the video. So if you cannot see from there, then could you can go and sit in that other seat so you can see. Can we watch this video? So you have, okay. uh, you plug 2 in for your y. So y equals negative 2 plus 8. Negative 2 plus 8, y equals 6. Then I do another one. y equals negative 1. Sorry, that's already negative x. Negative, negative 1 plus 8. Notice I'm already, it's a negative x, and I put in a negative 1. Therefore, the two negative signs are going to cancel out. So I'll be left with 1 plus 8. Yes? No, um, it was a negative x, and then the negative 2. Then change to speak loud in negative. That is a 2. So when you plug in a 2 in for the negative x, it comes to negative 2. Oh my god, that's a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. McLogan. Oh my God. Um, no, he just 